It's sunny, and there's not very many clouds in the sky. The options are endless on places to play and guys to play with. I love it. There's a reason I think so many guys are kind of gravitating toward here. Hey, Angie, there's a car behind us that's following me, which is, oh, okay. for some reason, they want to film me today. I don't know why, but <laughs> there's not enough stuff I can learn, especially guys, their experiences they are. They've done a lot of things that I haven't and that I'm hoping to do at some point, so I'm just trying to learn from them uh, any chance I can. I just need to be comfortable with those guys if I'm going to be comfortable playing at the toughest stages in golf. It's just kind of fun to start to become a part of it. Although the young up-and-comer is hanging with the elite, he may not be considered in that class just yet, but his track record shows he's more than capable of that distinction. Thomas entered his freshman year at the University of Alabama in 2011 with a lot of hype. At the same time, Jordan Spieth was starting to make his mark in the college ranks, also as a freshman. The two would come to a head at the end of the season as Texas and Alabama met in the finals for the NCAA championship. Speak best to Thomas that day for a pivotal point, and all Thomas could do was watch it all play out on the 18th hole. It was terrible. It was probably the first time that I actually cried from losing. I felt like I let our team down. I felt like I let our university down and all our fans down. I mean, it sucked. That's really the only way to describe it. Later that fall, Speed set out to turn professional, while Thomas decided to stick it out until he felt he was ready. My game may have been ready, but just my overall maturity probably wasn't ready. I mean, I was 18 years old, 19 years old. I mean, I needed to grow up a little bit. As the season rolled along, Thomas's decision was validated as Alabama won their national championship, redeeming the heartache of just one year prior. It was such a cool feeling and just getting to hug coach and hug all the guys that we experienced it with the year before. It was awesome. Thomas chose to turn pro in time for the 2014 Web.com Tour season. What a year for this young man on the Web.com Tour. The world needs to watch out for Justin Thomas. And his patience is now paying dividends as he's racked up multiple top tens in his debut season on tour, including firing a 61 at the 2015 Sony Open in Hawaii tying him for the low round of the 2014-15 season. Justin's obviously making a splash early. Incredible talent, a great friend of mine. Rooting really, really hard for him each and every week and hope to battle it out with him a lot. I feel like I can contend and win, and it's just a matter of getting my game there and, you know, most importantly, being patient and getting my mental game where it needs to be. A little windy, but we'll make it happen. Hey, you gotta make the best of what you have. To get his mind into the right mentality, Thomas looks to the water for serenity. I've been here for just a couple months now, and to have guys like these and have access to water like this, it's hard not to take advantage of it and just kick back and have some fun off the course sometimes. Right now, we got a little right to left wind, so playing a little bit of a draw out there, just riding the wind. Such a helpless feeling casting every time, just really feeling like you're not going to catch fish. Oh, I got nothing. <laughs> but even if you don't catch fish, it's always nice just to come out here and relax and hang out. I mean, it's so peaceful and 75 degree weather isn't too bad either. Just another day in the life, Jupiter, Florida right there. 